Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. Today we are doing my roundup video for April and May. All in one video, there are 18 puzzles to talk about, so I'm not gonna do a super long intro. If I have any dedicated videos on any of these, I'll leave them down below. But I should have either pictures or video of all the puzzles that I mentioned today that you guys can see on the screen. So we're just gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna do it in the size of the puzzle because some of you may be really into smaller piece counts. So I'm gonna do largest to smallest, and I did quite a bit of 300 and 500 piece puzzles this time around because I was moving and I just didn't have time for it. So we are just going to get into this. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe and let's just get started. Puzzle number one is my 4,000 piece pin to puzzle. I did a whole dedicated mini series on my channel about it and that is 160 cats. I have the box here to show you. This is what I stored it in when I was moving. So I started the puzzle in Temecula, California. I did one section, was able to break it up into parts here and then I did some in when we were in temporary housing and then I also did the final piece here and, and I really enjoy pin two puzzles they're super fun to put together they hold really well um this one also is a pin two puzzle that I got the frame for and some of you did mention I'm glad that you did that the frame that I got for the 4,000 piece one is different than their traditional puzzle frames so I have the frame for I think they call it their canvas puzzle frame and then these ones are their traditional puzzle frame. So the canvas ones are for the, the really big puzzles which I think are just for the 4,000 piece. Everything else comes in those. Now when you touch those ones, I just wanted to put this here that the puzzle frame for this one feels a lot cheaper than the one that I got for my 4,000 piece one. Like that one is like wood and nice. This one's definitely plastic, but from afar, it doesn't look too bad. Like it still looks pretty good over there. Um, but I just want to mention that in case you are getting the frames for your smaller piece counts, definitely different in system and quality than the one that I got for my 4,000 piece. But anyways, as far as the puzzle goes, loved it had so much fun it is still up here on my mantle right next to me and it just brings me so much joy i am interested in doing more of their 4000 piece ones just to reuse the frame and put a different picture in there every once in a while because i feel like this one i mean it's super fun but i don't think it's quite my uh aesthetic so i I think it's a good concept i definitely am interested in trying more of theirs and what's good about these 4000 piece ones if you are intimidated by a large piece count is that they are broken up into sections so it was four 1000 piece puzzles and that was way easier to do than putting them all together now you can definitely do the challenge of trying to do all of them together and put all the pieces together but since i was moving i didn't have the space to do a big 4000 piece puzzle i liked that i was able to do smaller pieces and still have the full image at the end so i really enjoyed it i would definitely buy more from them i have bought more from them and i'm not sponsored by them whatsoever I just really like their stuff and they send me things on occasion so I was happy to finally finish that guy. Moving into my thousand piece puzzles I have this one here from Buffalo Games. This one is called Parasols and it was in my to-do list for a long time and I don't know why because I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun, so bright and colorful for the quality. It was great. I like this one because all the different parasols are different colors and patterns so it's really easy to put together. It took me maybe five hours to do but I just really enjoy this one. I did it within one evening and I really like the vivid line from Buffalo Games just because I do like those brighter colors. The next puzzle here is definitely like a whole experience. This is the Robin Hood puzzle by King's Wild Project and I really enjoyed this one. So let's start off packaging 10 out of 10. Like it's beautiful. It's a whole thing where you open it up. It is plastic free. There's a bag inside. Like it's a whole moment. I'll put the video down below as well because I definitely go more in depth and you can see me doing it. But it was just super fun. I feel like difficulty level though, it was higher for me than traditional thousand piece puzzles. I think it's just because there's so much of the same pattern but all throughout because it was like I did the deck of card sides and it's a double-sided puzzle. Um, I could have done the other side but I felt like that type of texture and pattern would have given me a headache so I did the card side. It was challenging but it was fun like I never got stuck I just had to think a little bit more on strategy and I enjoyed it a lot. This is a really small brand they only have five puzzles available and I, I liked them. I would definitely get more from them but maybe not all of their images. So I do this one I'd definitely be interested in doing like Alice in Wonderland, but as far as the other ones, I don't think I would do the others. Um, just because they all have like a similar concept where one side is the deck of cards of that 
collection and then the other side is the jokers which is a cool concept and i feel like it was very well thought out but i just don't think i need like all of them but it was definitely a fun time and i think this would be a great gift option if they're like a book lover or a puzzle lover it was just such a nice experience so did enjoy myself on that one i also did the 1000 piece puzzle called the world of two doors by lawrence king and i said it wrong oh someone actually gave me the pronunciation and i forgot what it was um but i liked this one a lot there were so many good things going for it love the coloring of it i'll show you the back um love the coloring of it super fun really easy to put together it was just it was a happy puzzle. It was really bright and colorful, really great fit, really chunky pieces. However, I had an issue with it being gritty and dusty and it just felt really gross to my fingers. Now I'm someone who, I have a texture thing, so I didn't quite enjoy it. Some of you didn't mind it, but a lot of you had very mixed experiences. Now apparently this brand does manufacture in the Netherlands, which is this one, but they also manufacture in China. And depending on which manufacturer you have, you have very polarizing experiences. You either have something like this, which is really good quality, maybe a bit gritty and like texture but then you also have the china versions which are crumbly and thin and not good quality at all um, i think out of the two i would definitely prefer this version versus like crumbly and false fits but a few of you have said you liked them i just i don't know i feel like the quality concerns on both ends kind of all over the spectrum i just don't have high hopes for doing more from them um so if you love them that's amazing but it doesn't seem like that is the full consensus for everybody. So um, I think it's super cute. I wish their quality was a little bit better, um, but it is what it is. I liked doing the puzzle and I love their images. I just don't see me buying any more from them, but it, it, maybe at least until I hear better things about them. Moving on to my 500 piece puzzles. I don't have many to show you as their boxes because they were a part of a subscription that I was using. So I have been trying out Missing Piece Puzzle Exchange, which is a subscription for borrowing puzzles. So far, I have been liking it. I do have the casual puzzler version now where I'm doing three puzzles per month, which is kind of pricey because I usually only do it for like the smaller piece guns, the three to 500, just because those ones, I don't want to spend a ton of money on that piece size because I'm a one and done type of person. I normally don't do puzzles more than once. So it had been good when I was in temporary housing. I don't know if it's my long term solution though. I think I'd much rather just like find puzzles on sale. Um, cause I, and I did my puzzle warehouse haul recently. I did get a, quite a few smaller piece counts for pretty affordable. So I think going forward, I probably won't be extending that subscription. But I just want to mention that because now that I'm home and I have all my stuff, it's definitely a better idea for me. Um, but I just wanted to give you that update on the puzzle subscription. Have been enjoying it. Had a great experience so far. I just think for the price point, I could get a little bit more for my money. And I also want to just keep them. So <laughs> there's that. Um, but let's move into the puzzles that I did because I did quite a few 500 piece ones from that subscription. I did a couple 300 pieces from that subscription. And I have to say, quality wise, I loved every single one. So I really can't complain about the subscription really. So first off, we had a puzzle brand called Lemonade Pursuits. And I loved it. It was called Bloom. And it was a really fun just abstract just circles everywhere of different colors and similar shades but it was really easy to put together i love the whimsy piece cuts i loved how thick it was if you like suns out i feel like it would almost be the same manufacturer because it was very similar but i feel like it was just a bit higher of quality really great fit and i really i would definitely buy more from that brand 100 and then we had the suns out spring egg hunt which also had amazing quality that one was super fun um, i normally don't do a ton of seasonal puzzles so it was really fun to do like cartoonsy and it was really bright and colorful loki helped me throughout that whole entire thing um which is my cat and it was it was a good time i love the quality and i did do a wooden puzzle this month which was the mosaic puzzles wizard of oz and if you guys know like mosaic puzzles and wooden puzzles are expensive. I think it retailed for like $80, which is actually on the lower end for wooden puzzles. Absolutely, I absolutely loved this one. Um, it was just very nostalgic. One of my dad's favorite movies is Wizard of Oz. And we've always done like the costumes like during Halloween where we're all like a different character. And so I was just having a good time. It was definitely one of the recurring videos that we would watch at home when I was younger. So 
I really enjoyed it. I love the wooden pieces. It definitely showed a little bit of wear for that one, but I mean, it was a wooden puzzle. I'm sure a lot of people are doing them. One thing I did want to mention about that puzzle though is that they had so many special pieces. I think I counted them and they had like well over 40 special pieces, which is crazy. So what I'm talking about is like the, the actual image specific puzzle pieces. I actually think I did a little reel so you can see all the different special pieces. So that was a really fun time. I would see myself maybe buying one from them to keep, you know, because I feel like for wooden puzzles I am more tempted to do them more than once because they were an investment and they're also fun and just like a different experience. So I really enjoyed that one. Another puzzle I really, really loved was the Ravensburger Artist Palette puzzle. I want this one like in my collection. Actually, it was on my wish list for a really long time and I could never get my hands on it. So I'm gonna have to check Puzzle Warehouse on occasion to see if I can get it back in stock. It's always been sold out, but it's so much fun. I was able to rent this one and it was 500 pieces, loved it. But I loved how bright it was. I love the quality of Ravensburger, obviously, and it was such a good time. I definitely think I need to get it. The two 500 piece ones that I actually have on hand are these ones here and this one here is by Aduka and it is the bicycle and flowers puzzle. There's a few different brands that have the same exact image. I think Ravensburger also has this image and I liked it. Like I thought it was going to be a lot more challenging than it was, but it really wasn't. It took me maybe two and a half hours, so a little bit a little bit longer than my normal for a 500 piece, but it was pretty just a good one. It was a good relaxing one and that was just a, a fun image. I feel like a do good though for me a little bit on the crumbly side and you can have false fits so I want to love them and I have done a few of theirs. I have done a 300, I've done a couple 500s, a thousand, and an 800 piece. They all have that same quality issue so definitely on the crumbly side I want to love them but I don't think I'm buying like a ton more from the brand. I definitely would be scared to buy one of their major big ones because they do have some like 42,000 piece puzzles, which that just sounds so nerve wracking. I've heard though that once you get to the bigger piece counts, the, the fit is a little bit better. But I'm just, after doing so many of theirs, I have the same issue every single time. I'm just a little worried to buy a ton more, but I love the image and it was super fun. And I mean, I, I'm not never going to buy them again. I just wanted to mention that because I know for me and a lot of people having false fits is like the worst in, when you're puzzling. So just wanted to mention that. And then we do have this one, which is the Quilt Makers by Buffalo Games. This one was a super fun, easy one. I love this image because you very seldom see the inside of the buildings for a Charles Wasaki puzzle. And so I just really like this one. I did this because I was in charge of the, I do the blog, I help with blogs for Puzzle Warehouse's website and I was given uh, the flag day and so it was a very interesting topic to write about and to make it puzzle related so I did do this one and I liked it a lot and it was fun to research for that vlog so if when it comes available I'm not sure if it's going to be like right before the 14th or if it's going to be like right on flag day but I'll post it somewhere probably on Instagram or the Facebook group so you guys can read it but anyways I liked it it was fun and again Buffalo Games I really can't go wrong moving into some smaller piece counts so I did quite a few like 350 and under pieces this time around so I did the take flight puzzle by Springbok that was so much fun you guys know I love hard air balloons and so this one was all just high hard air balloons and my voice is going but it was just so bright, very happy, love the quality of Springbok, and it was a good one. That one was also one that was rented, and it was just so much fun. And then I did do two 300 pieces also from that same subscription. I did the Ravensburger Summer at the Lake, which I love Ravensburger's 300 piece ones, but like the large chunky pieces. They have ones that are like their traditional piece cuts, but the ones that are like the large like oversized jumbo pieces, it's just so much fun. I feel like I'm like six years old doing like a 100 piece puzzle because they're so chunky and thick and it's so satisfying when you're putting in the pieces. So it was just, I loved it so much and it made me actually take out one of my other 300 pieces to redo because I just love the experience and I loved how chunky the pieces were. Um, so that one was super fun, love the image, put on the traditional side, but it was just like summer and happy and warm when I was doing it. So I was just like in my glory. And then I did 
did do a Jackaroo puzzle, which was Sir LaRue, and I love that one. I feel like it's the same line, which it is the same line as the Jackaroo one I have over there, which was one of my favorites in 2022, which is called La Vie Belle. And Jacaru is a Quebec brand, and I have done a video on them before, and I love their stuff. Their images are so fun. This one, though, was part of their like artistry line, so it's not as clear of like line work, but it was only 300 pieces, and it was pretty easy, and I just did it in one afternoon that took me maybe an hour to do so it was fun I liked it and it was just I have I enjoyed again that subscription to do so many of the smaller piece counts without having to buy them but it's still an investment to rent them so I think going forward I would just like keep an eye out on like puzzle warehouse's sale website I did also do this puzzle here which I am going to do a video on the brand um there's been a lot of conversation on Instagram and throughout the community about like AI puzzle images and so I want to experience a brand that is doing them and I will say so far I'm not impressed the images look amazing online but they look amazing because they're a digital version of the image that you're getting when it was put into a 2d puzzle it definitely had some quality concerns for sure, um, especially for the price point. Like, so what my thing about it is that an AI isn't was crazy expensive and it was only 285 pieces. I will go into more in depth about this puzzle brand when I do their review. It's called Unreal Puzzles. And this one's called Paper Cut Flare, which you cannot get anymore because I had such a poor experience with this image quality and with the puzzle quality that I wrote to the brand. And so they are, they did respond right away. They did remove this image from their offerings and so they did offer to give me a different puzzle instead. So as far as customer service, they're great. But I feel like for the price point, I was just not impressed. So I just wanted to give you that heads up because I saw them all over my Instagram and I just wanted to give you that feedback if you are thinking about getting one because they are pricey. And then finally, I do have some miscellaneous items to talk about. I did do three of my Pintu vases. I do have three more to do. They were all gifted to me by the brand and I loved them so much. Um, I do have a I do plan on doing a whole video on this because I'm going to be finishing decorating this room and part of that I am going to be doing more 3D puzzles to use as decor and so I love this one. This is probably my favorite so far. Um, a few of you have bought them as well. They've shown me the pictures and they all look so fun. They are so fun. Um, they are a whole experience. They are functional as a vase. This part here does come out and you can wash it and use it for um, using it for actual flowers which is a just a little bonus and I'm excited to do more so again I did do three I want to add it to this puzzle count but um, I have a whole dedicated video planned for those and then I a final bit I do have two mini puzzles that I did these are from the they are from King's Wild, which is the same brand that did the Robin Hood puzzle. These are the mini puzzles that they have. So I did the one for Robin Hood and I did the one for Alice in Wonderland. And I liked both. I will say it's really intricate details and it's such a small puzzle. It was hard on the eyes. So I don't see my me buying more of these because they are really, really hard to see. Um, this because I normally have glasses and I was actually getting a headache doing them. But as far as quality goes, they're good. I like that they are micro puzzles size but the pieces are different shapes which I like um, so those are all the puzzles that I did in the past two months I'll link again videos and links to those puzzles if I can find them down below and that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one